What is today's about? This one is about scientific discovery. Scientific discovery, okay? So this runs very similar to, if you guys have been watching my other videos, of just scientific discoveries in the paper SAT as well. So let's look at this format first. So I know normally we jump right to the questions, right? But you notice here that this is a main idea question, and now I have to actually identify what type of passages it is. So if I start with, this is very, very key. If I start with for decades, for centuries, for years, or um, the popular idea has been. So this beginning thing is the old idea. So this thing is what people used to believe. And in my scientific discovery passage and question, my main point is this is what people used to think, but here is some new information. Obviously, there is no point in telling you what people already know and like, yeah, that's correct. Like if you go, if you shoot a chicken in the head, it will die. Well, yes, right? That's, there's no point in that. But there was a chicken that was, uh, it had its head chopped off, but it survived and it got its own museum, right? Did I talk about that chicken before? I don't know. But so you, that chicken survived, right? So that was contrary to expectations. So that's why you talk about it, right? Or we might have things like people think dinosaurs are stupid and dumb. Actually, they're smart and they're fast and whatever, okay? So this here is going to be for decades of blah, blah, blah. That stuff is not the main, main idea. If it's included in the main idea, it's going to be, yeah, they thought that, but it's something else. So let's look here. What is the main idea of the text? So it's going to be this key right here now. So my main idea is going to combine both of these. Okay. For decades, people used to think blank. Now we discovered blank something else. Okay. So take a second as always, I'm not going to pause myself, but take a second to look through the answer choices and see which one you guys might guess. You guys tried it, right? And you guys, you know, just press space, pause it. Okay, so let's look at these things. The recent identification of the connection between endothermia and ETZ confirms. I hate that phrase. I hate that phrase. I mean, I don't hate it in real life, but as you guys know, in the SAT, especially in science, science and confirms is a terrible answer choice. Also the word proves, but they don't even use that because they know that's terrible. Confirm and prove that is way too strong and way too certain. For example, we have things that support our theory of gravity, but even with gravity, gravity exists, right? Like can I drop this? Not my pencil, but okay. You know, that works, right? It happens. Gravity is real. But even with that, we don't say gravity is proven. We just don't use that language. Okay. So that one is out. Um, and then this one looks like an uh, digital SAT has actually gotten a little bit more cunning and tricky than the paper SAT because they know that B, look at our wording, recent discoveries have challenged widely accepted theories. They know that we know that's usually how these passages go. Right. So this format is very, very good trap answer. OK, so. But what's missing here? Well, what's the discovery? So I'm not even going to get into whether this answer choice is correct or not in terms of the text. But again, it has to be we used to think A, but we discovered B. It doesn't say what we discovered. You have to say what we discovered. OK, so B is that. So now we're between C and D. Okay. And C is also not bad in terms, again, the formatting of it. It traditionally was this, but recent progress has led to greater insight. Two things. One, we are not told what the greater insight is. Number two, it says procedural limitations. Was that in the passage? No, it wasn't in there at all, not even in terms of paraphrase. So what did they do? Digital SAT is a little bit trickier than paper SAT because are they watching my videos? I hope not. Maybe. I don't really care. Okay. But they know that people know these patterns because of people like me. I don't know who else is out there like me, but you know, the patterns are there to be analyzed. So they're making answer choices B and C that are exactly like the pattern they used to use for a right answer. So be extra careful on those guys. So how do I eliminate it? Again, progress of procedures or procedural limitations, not in the passage at all, even when we take into account synonyms or paraphrase. So that leaves us with D. Look how long this is. So endothermy has primarily been thought of as, so that's what we used to think. And is this the correct thing? Activity levels? Yes, right here. Okay. Then, but new findings show that it may also have other benefits. Okay. Which are immune response and learning. Where is that? Immune response and learning. And some connection to hormonal regulation. Hormonal regulation. Right. Here, yeah. So that looks like a lot of marking and a lot of work, but 
This is, even by College Board, they admit this is an advanced question. This is in the advanced section of the reading and writing on Khan Academy, officially, you know, collaborating with College Board. So with these central idea questions, you have to identify what passage it is. And this one is a science research passage. So the main idea of the text is going to be, we used to think blank, but now, thanks to recent discoveries, we have found out something else and something else. And that's it. So that's it for today's Quick and Dirty. As I've been saying, guys, we will continue with the central ideas. Thank you so much for letting us know in the comments you guys uh, wanted this done. And keep the comments coming. Whatever you guys want to see covered, I will get on it. Digital SAT or whatever it is that uh, pertains to college admissions for the United States. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Study every day with SexJ. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.